what's up guys welcome back to another video i hope you liked the last video um the interior of the e90 is really coming together especially with the addition of the custom alcantara steering wheel from my boys at aza um they're killing it in the game right now they not only do they make stuff for bmws but um they do uh, Euros, Euro cars, and I believe they just branched out to domestic and JDM. So if you have a project car or something you just want to spice up the interior with, you should uh, hit them up on Instagram and they can make you any type of custom design that you desire or just order one that's listed on their Instagram page. I'll link everything down below in the bio. But anyways, I'm not going to be working on the E90 today because... And we're going to be working on my dad's car slash my daily for now. Um, I got something in the works. Just okay. Anyways, let me show you what I got, uh, what I have for today. So the main event, I bought a, uh, what is it called? A head unit for my car because, well, my dad's car, because this thing, it feels like I'm driving in a coffin it's it's just very old dated we are in 2021 this car was built 20 years ago i just want to make it feel up to the times so what i did was i got a double din touchscreen head unit that is carplay compatible and it also has their own android system which is good meaning that say i don't want to use carplay i can just connect to bluetooth and use the system that they have which is nice, but the reason that I got this particular one is because this is a new model that just released and they have wireless CarPlay. So normally you can get these uh, head units for much cheaper than I bought it for because uh, the CarPlay compatibility they have is the normal one where you just plug in your charger and then your phone immediately connects to the head unit. However, this one is wireless, which means once you connect to Bluetooth and if you have an iPhone and allow it to display CarPlay, it will just do it automatically. So whenever you hop in and out of the car and then you turn it on, Bluetooth connected, CarPlay is now connected once you turn on the car. And that is why I bought this one and I spent a little more than I should have, but it's okay, it's an investment so this is a um it's a it's a trim kit for my radio so it looks uh oem and flush it basically has a new trim that fits this head unit not the previous one i'm going to get started with taking off the trim inside the car so as you guys can see this is the old disgusting radio there's also another reason i did this so these leds are dead and you can't even see what station you're on so what we had before was we had a bluetooth fm transmitter and i mean it was nice but like it, it's very annoying because it has this like cheesy intro sound whenever you pair your phone and it just doesn't feel oem and the all the reason i'm also doing this is because all these backlights are dead so whenever I'm at, whenever it's nighttime and I need to, say, put on the heat, um, what is it, the rear defroster or etc., it I always have to like either risk drive, risk my driving or like turn on the lights and like lose focus and it's just it's annoying. So I also bought bulbs for that to replace. So I'm just gonna put this in time lapse and do the ting. So uh, I'm gonna set you guys down now. Okay, so as you can see, I have the climate control unit and the old head unit out with and it was actually not that bad to take out. I'm surprised that all of these plastics didn't crack because uh, a lot of other plastic trim pieces on this car, they break off because of how brittle they've become over the years. 
But anyways, so the um oops the light bulbs are I think there's six one two three four five six yeah there's six of them and I am replacing them with um give me one second while I get the bulbs. Uh these bulbs uh I to be honest I don't remember what they're called the only thing I remember is they were something T4 bulbs. I'll I'll link it below if anyone even has this car. But yeah, I'll link everything I bought down below. Uh, these bulbs will replace the dead ones in there. And the reason I went with LEDs is because they probably won't ever go out. Like these are the normal incandescent halogen bulbs and they die after a while. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to set you guys in another time lapse. What's up guys? So, it's 3 a.m. I have work at 7. This may have not been the smartest thing for me to do, but I got the wiring to work. Give me one second while I show you guys uh, that the radio actually works, thankfully. So, uh, you're supposed to solder the wires together when you're connecting uh, the two wires but like as i said it's 3 a.m i didn't really want to so what it is i twisted the wires and then instead of putting electrical tape because that is prone to peeling slash not having a secure connection what i did was i have a bunch of heat shrink and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about but basically heat shrink is this like i don't know if it's plastic but it's like it's probably rubber it's a tubing which you put over something and then once you apply heat to it like fire or a heat gun it shrinks so that um whatever is inside the tube is has a secure and closed connection so even though i did go the janky route of not soldering it at least it's not double janky so like pemdas cancels it out so I have secure connection, all right? I don't even care about this car, so like, why would I spend my time soldering? Anyways, I will show you guys the uh, head unit now. I'm just very excited that it actually turned on and the satellite radio works, because if not, then I would have probably, I don't even know, it's very late. I don't know what I'm gonna do for tomorrow, but anyways, let me get to it. So, uh, like I said, so you see this blue tube? Sorry, my hands are dirty, but this is a heat shrink. So I put it over right before I twisted the wires and then I put a flame under it so that it would shrink. And all the wires that I had had to connect to the harness, I had to uh, I put heat shrink over all of them just to make sure the connection was secure. So let me show you guys the uh, head unit now. So as you can see, car is on. Oh man, your boy can be an electrical engineer. I'll take off this little screen protector later and show you a better screen. But as you can see, everything works. Let me switch stations real quick once the volume thing goes away. See? Oh man, yo, I could be an electrical an electrician <laughs> anyways uh honestly i was kind of scared to do this i didn't know if it would work or not because i'm not i wouldn't consider myself electrically inclined i don't even like soldering basic things so yeah and then when i go home there's the car play so i'm actually recording this with my phone right now so let me try to get the car play to work uh so since it's wireless i believe you have to connect the CarPlay once by plugging in your phone, which I did. So basically, 
this i routed it through the glove compartment so that this is readily accessible for any new phone that wants to connect to the carplay so yeah one i believe once you plug in your phone and then allow bluetooth connection every time after will no longer need you uh will no longer require you to plug in your phone all you would have to do is just wirelessly connect so let me uh connect my phone and see if it works and then i'll i'll start recording again ladies and gentlemen it is official we have wireless carplay so as i said you plug it in once and then there's going to be a notification on your phone that says um allow carplay and then you press yes and then it says enable wireless carplay and then you say yes again and then for it to work afterwards i think you press carplay on the actual thing and then it'll send a notification to your phone and then it'll say loading and the carplay screen will go from gray to green then you can click it and then everything works so oh my this is lovely this is amazing wow okay i'm having a very good start to my day so key points to take away from this experience number one you can do whatever you want just gotta put in the work because this I, I i honestly don't like wiring and like dealing with stuff like this because this is honestly this is the first time i've ever done anything close to this uh when i had my e30 my dad got me an aftermarket radio but there were no harnesses at the time so i was just like yeah i don't really want to tackle making my own or like connecting the wires it was still very new to it uh number two you should not follow what i did you should actually test that it works before like putting heat shrink tubing on it like I twisted the wires and then immediately put heat shrink tubing which uh is not necessarily smart because in the event that it didn't work i would have to figure out which connector is preventing it from not working so double check your work before you uh finish and put everything away uh there's a guy at my work who who does that don't don't do that guys uh not good Especially for technology. Um, anyways, I'm just glad this worked out. Uh, it's very clean. This interior is now has a 2021 technology and it's just really cool. Uh, I'm really glad that this happened because this is my daily as of right now. And the thing with those uh, Bluetooth FM transmitters is once you get into the higher volume range they get very staticky and it just turns from like good to like ugh. so uh anyways that's my video for today guys i'm going to list everything that i did and in the description below and uh i'll catch you guys next time peace out